Number 15, favorite candy. How much time do we have on this thing? It's Hello Snack Pack, welcome back to Travel Snacks. Today's video is a little bit different. Since we're kind of in the middle of a van build right now and some of the videos for the van build aren't quite ready yet, this is perfect timing. This week I was tagged to a 40 question challenge by a Snack Pack member, Van Life Rocks. Thank you Ray for nominating me. You have been such a great supporter of the Travel Snacks channel and a great Snack Pack member and I appreciate you thinking about me. I usually don't do things like this, but the Snack Pack has been growing like crazy. And I figured there's a lot of you that probably don't know much about me. So I thought this would be a good time to accept the challenge from Ray and share a few things that you may not know. This challenge is going around, I think it's just in the van life, car life, RV life community, but I could be wrong. But at the end of the challenge, it challenges you to tag six other people. So, so I'm going to get my tagging done right up front so I can share some of the other Nomad channels that I like to watch. The first person I nominate is Drew from No Can't Fant. You should check out his channel. He's one of my favorites. He's a good dude and I truly appreciate him because he always keeps it real. The second YouTube channel that I'd like to nominate is Sorgi Stories. Jay and Tony, they are a father-son duo and they travel all around eating good food. And if you like sports, bonus because they talk about sports a lot on the channel. Plus they go to some really beautiful places. So check out their channel. Number three, Kels Acosta. He's a friend that I met on Instagram and we just kind of exchanged YouTube channels and he's doing some great things. He talks about travel, motivation, and has some lo-fi beats on his channel. The fourth one is fairly new to me, but when I came across this channel, I'm like, this girl keeps it real and I subscribed right away. Chef life, van life, Kendra travels in her minivan and I just like how she keeps it real and I just really enjoy the channel. Plus she's a chef, so that goes along with travel snacks. These last two nominations are people that I admire and follow in the van life community. I don't know them, they don't know me, but I thought that I would throw these two in there because they have been an inspiration to me. The first one is Amber over at Story Chasing, so hopefully she sees this video and does the 40 question challenge and the last one number six is Sarah Yak over at Sarah Yak YouTube channel she's got a great van and I've gotten a lot of inspiration and a lot of tips from her channel if you have time I hope that all of you will participate all right all that being out of the way let's jump right in to the 40 questions I'm gonna leave all 40 questions in the description below so if you want to play along put them in the comments or if I've tagged you then you'll be able to see all the questions so you can make your own video number one do you like blue cheese Ew. I mean, this channel is travel snacks, but blue cheese is not on my approved snack list. I think blue cheese is gross. It's too bitter for me. Number two, Coke or Pepsi? Okay, so this one is a little weird because I used to only drink Pepsi and I used to think that Coke didn't really have a good flavor. And then in the past like five years, I really just started going in the direction of Coke and now Pepsi is like too strong. I don't know. So I would say for now it's Coke. Number three, Am I in a relationship? Only with the Lord. But listen, I'm single, so. Oh, actually, I shouldn't do that because I'm gonna get so many. Okay, four. Whiskey, tequila, or vodka? None, none, and none. I don't drink, but just in order to play the game, if I had to choose, it would be whiskey. I used to drink Fireball, which is cinnamon whiskey. Number five, hot dog or cheeseburger? Neither of those because I'm more on a plant-based lifestyle, but again, if I have to choose, then I'd probably go with cheeseburger. But actually, can I just choose veggie burger? Because I, I really do enjoy veggie burgers. Number six, favorite food. That's got to be tacos. Tacos is the best food in the whole entire existence of everything. You could just lump that in with Mexican food because I also love burritos, enchiladas, rice and beans, chips and salsa, chips and guacamole, queso, all of that. Number seven, what do you drink in the AM? I usually drink half a cup of coffee. Seattle's best breakfast blend is the best. And I have coffee made hazelnut creamer. No sugar because it's already sweet. Number eight, can you do a hundred put can you do a hundred push-ups? <laughs> Listen. I'd be surprised if I could do one full push-up at this point. But I've been working on the van a lot, so maybe I could do two or three. Nine, favorite season, spring. Easter is my favorite holiday because Jesus rose and gave us all hope. Plus, I love that it rains a lot and I love rain. Number 10, favorite hobby. I don't know, do I even have any hobbies? Truly, my hobby is traveling, eating, finding new locations, and just, I think I just enjoy what I do. Oh wait, I just thought of a great hobby, interacting with a snack pack. And if you're not already a snack pack member, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Then, welcome to the snack pack. Number 11, tattoos? No. Well, the only tattoo I have 
technically is I have my eyebrows tattooed. I guess it does count. Number 12, do you wear glasses? Just reading glasses. Number 13, phobias. I don't know if I have any phobias. I used to claim thanatophobia, which is the fear of death, not dying, but death, like the finality of death. But ever since I've been really focused on reading my Bible, that's subsided. Number 14, nicknames. Well, my friends and family call me Allie, but I don't like when strangers call me Allie because I think it's a little too personal and I don't really know people like that. A couple of my friends call me Al. And then a funny thing is that a couple people have started calling me Travel Snacks, like as a nickname, which I'm not mad at because I think it's cute. Number 15, favorite candy. How much time do we have on this thing? Uh, I'd say if I have to choose a favorite, probably frozen Reese's Cups, but I like all kinds of candy. Number 16, do you believe in ghosts? No. The only ghosting I know about is what's going on with all this dating and guys be ghosting all over the place. 17, biggest downfall. Eesh. I'd say building this van has arisen the impatience in me and caused me to be super snippy at times. And I don't like that about myself. So I'm really working on it. But I think that's a bad downfall of mine that I recognize and I'm working on. Number 18, rain or snow. Definitely rain. I am a pluvial file all the way. I think snow is nice occasionally, but if you're not outfitted with the right gear, it could really be not fun because it's too cold. Number 19, any piercings? Just my ears. And I do have one extra hole here. When I was a teenager, that was the thing. And I probably have worn an earring in that second hole, maybe, I don't know, 10 times in my life. Number 20, age 47. I just turned 47 recently. 21, french fries or onion rings? I want both of those things. But if I had to choose, I would say that I probably eat french fries more often than onion rings, but I like both. 22, kids, yes. I have the most wonderful, amazing, awesome, the best sons ever. Two sons, Marcus, who's 24, and Justin, who is 21. They both have YouTube channels, and you can check them out here, Sharp Sports and Sharp. 23, favorite color. I'd say that my favorite color has been navy blue for quite a while. I just love how it's just like such a dark, comforting color. 24. Can you sing? Baby, I love you. You are my life. My happiest little bit. Fun fact, when I was growing up, my dream job was to be a famous singer. And I even made an album. And then I got jaded by the industry and I moved on. 25. Can you whistle? 26. Where were you born? I was born in LA County and Southern California. 27. Siblings? Yes, I have one older sister. 28. Can you cook? I mean, I can cook. I don't know if it's the best, but I can hold my own, I'd say. 29. Can you swim? Yes. I can swim. 30. Are you religious? I never liked this question because when I think of the word religious, I think of the business of church and religiosity. I'm more focused on biblical teachings and following and loving the Lord. So I guess yes, but 31. Shower or bath? Always shower. I hardly ever like taking baths because it makes me feel like I'm sitting in my own dirty water, but I do like a good jacuzzi, which I guess could be the same thing, but let's just say shower. 32. Big city or out in nature? I think there's a time and a place for both. I'd say I like nature more than big cities, but I do like to walk around big cities, taking pictures and eating food in all their good restaurants. So I'd say both. 33. Are you a good friend? Well, I think you'd have to ask my friends, but I think I am a great friend. 34. Any broken bones? Well, I did fracture my wrist when I was younger and I did that roller skating. 35. How many TVs do you own? I own one TV that I'm trying to sell if anybody wants to buy it, but I haven't watched TV and I don't even know how long. I always just watch Netflix and Hulu and stuff on my laptop. 36. Worst pain ever. The worst pain I've ever experienced is heartbreak and I even passed childbirth and even getting my wisdom teeth out, which those were two very painful situations, but heartbreak has by far surpassed any of that kind of pain. 37. Do you like to dance? I love to dance and if you get me on a dance floor, which I haven't done in a million years, but if you get me on a dance floor, I can dance like all night and then the next day I'm sore. Why am I so red? It's so 
hot in here. 38. Do you like camping? I like camping in my car or a van or an RV or a camper, but I don't necessarily like camping in a tent unless I have a cot or something that's up off the ground. I don't really enjoy that sort of thing, but if I was more comfortable, I think I would be fine with it. 39. Are you weird? Well, I think in today's society, normal has now become weird and weird has now become normal. So I would say, I don't know. I guess I am a little weird, but I think I'm also normal. So I guess you'll have to decide for yourself. And number 40, tag six friends, which I already did. That's not a question. So this is not technically a 40 question challenge, which it has to be 40 questions. So I'm gonna make up my own 40th question. Did you enjoy this challenge? And my answer is yes. And if you enjoyed this challenge, throw a like on the video. I look forward to seeing what all of my challengers post. So tag me after you make your videos so I can go watch them. If there's any other questions you have that you'd like to know about me, drop it in the comments and maybe I'll make some more videos like this in the future. A nice Q&A or something like that. Snack time. Snack time.